Do you want to pass the legislature examination for teachers? Then you're blessed. My channel is for you. I am Sir Leo at your service. Good day. Before I upload mathematics discussions included in the licensure examination for teachers, first let us have tips from a laptop notcher. Mr. Jose Salso Perez Jr. is the top six in 2019 licensure examination for teachers with a rating of jaw dropping 91.40%. He is currently teaching at the Department of Teacher Education at Visayas State University, Leyte. What did he do to get this rating? If I were you, listen from the start to finish. Please welcome Mr. Jose Salso Perez Jr. Hello everyone. My name is Cecil Salso Perez Jr. Your September 2019 Let Top 6 for the 7th So I am very privileged to be invited by Dr. Leo Mamolo to present you some motivation tips for the licensure examination for teachers. And as we all know, the LET is one of the biggest challenges that an aspiring teacher will eventually face in his or her career journey. So um, with my experience, examination. So let's get started. Well, the first thing that you have to um, prepare with yourself is to refine your mindset. Uh, we always know that our behavior, our everything that we do, um, the ways that we adapt in our everyday living comes from our ideas. It comes from what's inside of our mind. And so if we want to ace or if we want to pass the board exam, we need to start with our mind. We need to start with our mindset. Do you have a fixed um, mindset or you have do you have a growth mindset? Because if you're just going to say that, ah, I cannot do this, I, hindi naman ako masyadong matalino, hindi naman ako ganito, ah, siguro, ah, less lang yung chance na makakapasok ako. If you have already that kind of mindset, then you will really not be that motivated to really prepare for the lab. But if you have this, I have this, I have not yet fully equipped for the start of the journey, but if I will allow myself to grow in the process, I will surely get there and become the person that I need to be when I cross the finish line. I have adopted those words from Ms. Nishama Barber, uh, Ms. USA 2016. Um, if you are going to have that um, mindset, the growth mindset, if you will have that, if I will just prepare, if I will just do my best, then I will get there. You will not limit yourself to your excuse, I was this before, I was this before, because the moment that you have already fixed, uh, the moment that you have already made up your mind on how you are going to deal with things regarding and your past will not matter on them anymore. Your previous experiences, what other people will say to you, they don't matter anymore. So it will start with refining your mindset, by believing in yourself. And so once you have already um, refined your mindset, that will be the starting point for you to set a concrete goal. What do you want to achieve in the lab? Do you just simply want to pass like a 75%? Well, I'm not saying that the 75% mark is a bad mark, but um, knowing that you have already made up your mind that you're going to do your best, you're going to give it your shot because you need to take the board exam only once or if, if you are a teacher, you are going just to take the board exam. This would be the last time you're going to take the board exam. You need to set a complete goal. What rating do you want? Do you want a 90 rating or do you want to become a top notcher or do you want to get to get an 88 rating? But I, I, I advise you not just to limit your uh, goal to just simply limit a particular um, rating. Aim higher, aim high as much as possible so that even if, say, for example, if you want to aim 95, well, at least if you cannot get the 95, maybe you can have the 90 or the 91. So at least you will be in the top that you see in that camp. So you need to set a concrete goal. Then get ready like you're going to prepare to a war. You no, know, you need to prepare and strategize. So this is not really a war between you and the lead, but this is actually a war between you and yourself. Like it's an... Um, 
an internal conflict actually for me because you have to grapple every day your worries your anxieties your thoughts about the land you're going to deal with a lot of circumstances in your everyday life as you are going to as you will be uh, facing the land in the future so you need to be really prepared so that once you take the board exam it's you are already a condition to do the things you need to prepare like the materials that you are going to use that the test materials the um then make sure your test materials and the reviewers that you are gathering as well as the notes and the handouts you're gathering are reliable they need to be up to date and they need to be aligned to the standards that are really tested in the lab and then you need to strategize like what time of the day are you going to study prof ed or what subject are you going to study for this day or for this week what um what are they what exams will you try to answer things like that you have to strategize make a timetable prepare consider also the way that you study naturally like the your study methods that really work for you but don't be afraid to venture to new study methods or to new learning methods that you can adapt there are a lot of them they're flooding over the internet you can check them out on youtube or in google you try to look for ways on how you can easily um uh, retain the information that you have just studied there are ways also that you can easily visualize there are ways um that you can you can able to answer multiple choice questions effectively there are strategies for that so you need to prepare so for all those things okay so you need to get ready because there is no substitute for a good preparation i always believe in that next you always adapt the rare strategy but this is not really a rare strategy but this is the rare pathway and for me rare means read answer reflect and enhance so as you have already gathered your handouts your notes or perhaps you have your books with you you read them now i i uh, what i did during the board exam is i really read the books not i don't just simply answer test i uh, test materials directly i read i want to read the books first i want to read the handouts first i want to refresh my learnings first because in the first place what will i answer with the questions if i have no idea of what is the content so i want to go with the content first i want to look into the content that are aligned with lab competency so that when i face test items i know what to answer that's my mindset back then and even up to now then you try to reflect if there are some mistakes that you have um uh, uh, if you have mistakes even you when you when you check your answers you try to look into why did i get the wrong answer for this item um where in my thinking did, did it went wrong things like that you need how things went well and how things went wrong as you go through your test materials and then once you reflect do not forget the lessons that you have learn from your reflection because they will pave the way for your enhancement lead uh use all your the lessons that you have learned from answering test materials and from reading different books uh, to enhance yourself but of course you cannot really read entirely all of the body of knowledge covered in professional education in general education or in specialization subjects so it's better that you need to study smart as well like you need to study first what is what is really the topics that will likely come up in the board exam so things like that you you focus on what is really the competencies what they are focusing then perhaps you can add the supplementary topics later so that's one way for you to study smart okay next would be you need also to take care of yourself um it you're not a robot we're humans and at, the, at some point of time when we study we always somehow feel tired we somehow feel bored or um uh things like that we we are some we at some point we come to a point where we are not really conditioned to learn we're not really conditioned to review in those cases i advise you to rest to rest to relax no it's uh, it's not really harmful to do that when i was reviewing for the board exam if i am really not in the condition if i if um if i cannot really go through even if i force myself so no i will just relax i will i will i will watch tv i will surf the internet i will sleep i will eat you relax you take care of yourself because what is the use of having been able to review a lot but if you are sick by the end of the day of the exam so you take care of yourself okay then the last thing that i also want you to do is pray pray and pray remember that the god of the universe the almighty god is the one who holds everything he, he knows what uh he has this divine providence and sovereignty over everything 
And so you need to keep your faith in him. And you believe in him that no matter what circumstances you are going to face during your licensure examination, he will be there for you. And that is enough. He will be there for you. And he will give you the support that you need. It's just that you also have to do your part. No, miracles don't happen just simply because uh, God, God uh, does this. But uh, uh, there are times when miracles has to happen with your cooperation, with your participation. So you part uh, what while you pray, pray, pray. You study, study, study. Then you relax, relax, relax. If you have, if you are no longer conditioned. So bottom line here is you keep the faith. Not just you don't just simply study and relax. You keep the faith there. You pray, pray. Then the last thing that I would like to advise you is this is from Miss Deshona Barber uh, from Miss USA 2016. I really admired her motivation quote, but I'm not really that big fan of Miss Universe, but I just happened to uh, uh, come across with her motivation speech. She said, do not fear failure, but please be terrified of regret. So what I want you to, 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 to understand here is do your best. So that you, at the end of the day, you will not regret that you didn't do your best in taking the board exam. Just do your best. Give it your best shot. No more what ifs, no more buts. Just do your best. That is what that is what this uh, quotation implies to us. No? Because at the end of the day, what what if we have really done our best in that it. So, but however, if we have just limited ourselves to our fear or to our anxiety or to our worries and then at the end of the day we just realized that what if i had did my best maybe things could have turned different so that's the bottom line here so i really challenge you to do your best to give it your best shot to keep the faith and to do everything that you can do at your own at your own but also do not be afraid to ask for help because of course in the in your journey to the licensure examination contribution of other people can also be helpful for your preparation. Okay? So I hope this video has been really helpful to you. I hope I was able to give you some very good insights when it comes to how you are going to prepare for the board examination. I hope that you will be sticking to your goal, whatever the goal that you have already set right now. And I hope that you will pass and even ace the board examination. Thank you very much for watching.